Hey, what's going on everyone? This is robwillis.info here, and in this video I want to talk about installing Omachi Linux on VMware Workstation. I have a blog post to go along with the video that has all of the commands and anything else you might need, links down below. So if you've tried installing Omachi on VMware Workstation, you may find that with the basic graphics option configured on the virtual machine, Omachi will boot but then fall to a black screen right after entering the password for the encryption. And then if you enable the accelerated graphics, you can get the GUI to load, but then it appears to be unresponsive. It won't launch any menus or applications. So to get started, let's take a quick look at the uh, VM configuration. I've got 16 gigs of memory allocated here. For the processors, I've got eight cores. And notice I have none of the virtualization engine stuff selected. I actually found out it runs pretty poorly with those enabled, so I've been leaving them off. For the hard disk, we just have 60 gigs of uh, disk space. And then under the CD DVD, I've downloaded and mounted the uh, Omachi ISO image just from omachi.org. And uh, probably the most important feature here is the under, the dis under the display. We want to make sure to check the box for Accelerate 3D graphics. And uh, I've also gone ahead and given it 8 gigs of VRAM because that's what my video card has. And then under the uh, options for the guest operating system, I've set the version to other Linux 6x kernel and 64-bit. Uh, and, uh, and that's it. And so at this point, we're ready to power it on. Uh, this is going to go just like a normal installation, right? So it's going to boot off the ISO image. We'll follow all the prompts and just do the normal installation. Um, so this stuff isn't really that important. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to once the installation is completed, and we'll pick up from there. All right, so the uh, installation is completed in uh, just over about three minutes or so. And uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot it now. And we'll just give this a second. Okay, and we see the bootloader. And then the prompt for the encryption password. And now if you didn't use the accelerated graphics option, it would just go black here. Um, but we see that we do actually get the GUI, but the scaling is all off. And uh, it doesn't actually seem to work, so none of the super keys are working here, and uh, none of the menus are working. So we're just kind of stuck at this screen with uh, no ability to click or, or do anything. So to resolve this, we need to switch over to one of the virtual terminals by pressing Control alt and in this case I'll use F3. And then we can see the TTY here. And so I'm just gonna log in using the same credentials that were, were created during the uh, installation process. So I'm just gonna use bitrot, my password. And then I'm gonna elevate up to root with a sudo su, type in my password. And so the first thing we wanna do here is update the, uh, the pacman repositories. So I'll just do a pacman-sy and let those update. And then after that, we wanna make sure to install the uh, OpenVM tools. So I'm just gonna do a pacman-s and uh, install the OpenVM tools package. And I'll just give that a second to install. And yes, we want to install. So the, um, the OpenVM tools package won't actually restart with the host. Um, so to enable that, I'll just do a system CTL and then enable and it's open, or actually it's, uh, I think it's um, VM tools D. Okay, cool. All right, so next up, there's two files that need to be edited found underneath the user's home directory. And so we're going to open them with NVIM, and I'm just going to call my home directory, and then the config, and then hyper, and the file is going to be envs.conf. And then I'll press I to enter uh, insert mode so we can edit the file. And I'm going to make a new line at the bottom here. And uh, so basically what this is going to do is force OpenGL to always render in software. So we're just going to do env equals libgl underscore always underscore software. And we're going to set that value to 1. And then I'll hit escape to exit the uh, insert mode. And then we'll do colon and I think it's wq to uh, write and quit. And there we go. And so now the second file we need to edit is in the same directory. So we'll just do the same thing. NVim to my home directory, config, hyper. And then this one's going to be called monitors.conf. OK. And same thing, going to hit I to enter insert mode so I can edit it. And I'm just going to comment these lines out here. And I'm going to uncomment these two lines down here. 
I'll fix that spacing real quick just because it'll drive me nuts. Um, yeah, so I'm going to uncomment these two here. And um, yeah, so this sh so I want to this should work like this, but I want to hard set the uh, the resolution because of some of the issues with uh, the workstation runs into. So I'm going to set it just a little bit smaller than a uh, 1080p. And I'm going to set it at uh, 60 frames a second. And same thing, escape colon WQ to quit, to write and quit, and uh, that's it. So both files have been saved. Um, now we got the resolution set to a hard 1900 by uh, 1050. And I'm just going to do a system CTL reboot. And uh, hopefully that's it. And this comes up and works. So I ended up finding out that if you set the resolution or you allow the resolution to be set to the same as the maximum for the monitor, um, VMware Workstation kind of freaks out. So that's why I actually set that just a little bit smaller. It seems to make it uh, a little more stable as well. All right, so we can see it's already looking better than it was the last time. We got the full scale resolution, but uh, yeah, so it looks like it uh, it actually worked. So let's try out some commands and stuff. So first, let's just try accessing the uh, the main menu. So it's a super alt space. Okay, cool. So it seems to be working. Um, now maybe the uh, hotkeys menu. So super K. All right, also wasn't previously working. So we're looking good. Um, so let's try changing out a theme real quick. So I'll just pull up the menu, go to the styles. And then we'll click themes. And I'm just going to go for this matte black hair is kind of my favorite. OK, cool. And then we can uh, swap the wallpaper out, which is control super space. All right. So let's try launching some applications. So super shift B should pull up a browser. And then super return should pull up a terminal. And then let's super two to switch to workspace two. And I'll do uh, super shift T to pull up B top. And cool, and switch back to workspace one and two, and yeah, everything seems to be working like it uh, should. And so I think that's where I'm going to wrap this one. Omachi is an awesome distro that is definitely worth checking out. Um, I've actually got it up and running on my old Service Pro now, and it runs surprisingly good. Um, Hyperland has definitely changed my perspective on window management. It makes everything else feel sort of clumsy, and I, I kind of realized how much time I was wasting just visually looking for things. So yeah, definitely looking forward to using it more, and hope this helps you guys get up and running as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.